<laughs> I knew I'd run out of words one of these days. What's the most interesting place you've ever been in the world? Hawaii. And you? Pacoima. Altoona. Where's the furthest you've ever been away from home? Four blocks? Probably Hollywood here. Hollywood. There are a lot of interesting places in the world. This lady has traveled everywhere. She has had one of the most interesting careers of anybody I've ever read about. And I look at this album and there are two beautiful creatures on the front of this album. You'll see what I mean in a moment. One is human and one is not. They are both beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, please greet Miss Maxine Nightingale. That's pretty. Hi. Hi, how are you? And you? Very, very well. You sound like, but I know better. I don't mean when you sing, when you speak, you sound like Helen Reddy. There's an accent. Do That's I? hers is Australian. Yours can't be. I've often been told since I came here that I sound like um, West Indian or, um, or Australian. I think it's, it's, has, it yeah. feels like Australian. I think what it is is a. Um, a Cockney accent which has been refined by a sort of suburban um, grammar school, you see, and then it turns into some sort of hybrid thing, some mongrel language, which is called Elingese. Did you use a fake accent on the stage? I mean, there's a Broadway accent. It's very English. It's very phony. I, I hate that. I really do. There are people I, I won't mention. Don't, don't mention any names. But um, I, I have this um, extra extra quality which they don't realize I can I'm from where they they're from and like sometimes I meet people here from England and they're they're trying very hard to talk like this but underneath I can hear this still there you know and I, and I, I really don't like it you know. has it ever been an impediment to you know you were in hair Jesus Christ superstar you've worked the stage is that experience good for you it's great I think um, 
in every way, um, each area complements the other, you know. If you work in one, one area, you have to use your mind and you're thinking how to react and how to convey different emotions. And so you learn how to um, do it, you know, transfer it from one sort of um, spectrum to another. It's real good. I have found in talking with other people, the more uh, entertainment experiences you have, the more comfortable you are with all media. I've got to ask you the same question I asked the kids. What's the most interesting place you've ever been? You've led a very exotic, romantic life. Wow, yes, very exotic. Yeah, I was a spy. No, I wasn't a spy. <laughs> Actually, my husband was asked to be a spy once. Really? Yeah, yeah. Where'd you meet him? He, I met him in, well, this is the, the most interesting place, actually, in Freiburg am Bresgau, which is a small town um, in Germany, sort of very near Switzerland, and it's in the Black Forest, and I fell in love with my husband then. And, um, That's a good place to remember. What were you, were you working? I, went, I was in here in London and he was directing the show in Germany, putting a show together and I went there for a holiday and I took one look at him and decided that maybe I'd stay there for a little while. For a little while we're going to stay there. Where was, there. Where was your home originally? Wembley, and home no of the football stadium. No, I have lived there for the last six weeks in a movie studio making a film on the birth of the Beatles and that's why I know Wembley. In Wembley? Wow. You 